when to engage and when to step back with conversations on LinkedIn. So imagine this, you're creating content regularly, you're posting regularly, you're creating lots of engaging conversations in, as a result of your posts. And you're worried that all of your time is going to be absorbed in managing these conversations. And I think that's a really relevant conversation to have right at this beginning point. For me, if you're not willing to have conversations with people or make the time to have conversations, then really what is the point of you wanting to convert your audience? Because every good client starts with a great conversation. That being said, you can't talk with everyone. You don't have time to network with every single person that you speak to. So I think there's also a valid point there around managing the quality of the conversations and either progressing conversations or closing them down in a polite way. For me, every time I mention the word YouTube, I get 10 people messaging me on my inbox telling me that they can help improve the, the SEO quality of my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys, but no thanks. I don't ever intend to be a YouTube influencer. I have no interest in that. My YouTube channel does the job it's supposed to do. I know that because I get revenue from it. Thanks, but no thanks. So I shut those conversations down politely. Right? You never know who you might need to speak to in the future, but generally they're very short conversations. And a, a really good way of doing this is by having things like webinars ongoing. So where you aren't sure whether somebody's a good fit or not, and you, you want to kind of tempt them into a little bit more knowledge so you can understand them a bit more and figure out whether they're a potential good client for you. Where you've got a webinar coming up, feel free to share that with them in advance and just say, look, do you know what? It's great that we're having this conversation. I hope you like the sorts of things that I'm posting out. I've got a webinar coming up. And if on the back of that webinar, you want to know a bit more, then reach out to me once you've been to it. And it's a bit of a litmus test, a bit of friction. If they're just passing the time and just trying to network generally, but there's no real intent behind that, they'll probably drop off the radar at that point. I've also learned to develop my gut instinct. Right? I, I generally know when I start talking to someone, whether they're going to try and pitch slap me, whether there's a really good alignment there, and whether they're the right sort of person I want to be talking to. But you have to get talking to them to create that in the first place. So... What I'm not here to do is say that you must have a conversation with every single person that drops a comment or engages with you. Responding to comments is something you can do that really helps with your visibility and it helps get you in front of their network by all means. So acknowledge that not every person you talk to is going to be a target audience, but they will know your target audience. That's the key for me is to remember that segment. Um, you don't necessarily need to be connected directly to them. You need to know the people who are, and that will help you broadcast your voice and message to the right people. If you found that useful, you put that into practice, or you have any challenges with, drop me a line below. Give me a follow and a subscribe, and we'll be back with more LinkedIn tips and advice for those of you who want to turn your audience into paying customers. I'm not a LinkedIn trainer. I'm not selling a course, and nor will you ever get pitched for one from me. I just want to share advice and value. I hope it's useful for you. Let me know how you find it.